Sports, it's Kieran from The Run Testers here, and I'm here to talk to you about a brand new t-shirt. It's a very, very clever t-shirt from Under Armour. It's called the Breeze Tee, and it features Gore-Tex Infinium. Now, Gore-Tex Infinium is a type of um, fibre fabric that is basically specially created. It's a, it's, a, it's a special polymer that is built to be lightweight, breathable, um, good at moisture control and sweat wicking, soft on the skin, super comfortable. We've all seen sweat wicking claims before, but what one thing this t-shirt claims is that within six minutes, it can go from being fully saturated to being dry. I'm gonna take it out that door for a proper run. Actually, in sort of miserable gray London, it's even a bit of, a little bit damp, a little bit rainy, so we will see how that stacks up, and I will come back and tell you after. So I'm back, and as you can see, I wore this layer on uh, the Breeze T. I actually wore it under some other clothes. It's cold outside. I honestly feel like this is more, it's so thin, this is more like a base layer to me than a t-shirt necessarily. I mean, you could wear it in the gym, but it's very, it's very, you know, you can see the skin through it. It's not, that is not really my thing, being able to see, you know skin through but as you can see it is soaked it's drenched through the whole thing is wet it's now well i'll start the clock five minutes past three where i am in the uk let's see how we get on in six minutes from now let's check it out and see if it dries out like it's supposed to so there are a few other details that you might want to know about this um it is light the material is super light, so even though it's hanging quite close to the skin when it's wet, it doesn't it doesn't feel sort of heavy and, and uncomfortable. It actually still, after I ran for an hour in it just now, and I did a threshold session, so there was three times 10 minutes at very, very high intensity, so I've sweated a lot, and it, it still feels comfortable. Um, it did feel a bit damp and cold towards the end, so as I was coming off the last 12 minutes of that run, where I was on a, a lower pace and I, you know, I downed the intensity a little bit and I wasn't generating quite as so much heat. There was a little bit of cold coming from the moisture that was still in the t-shirt at that point. And I mean, I can't speak for this whole six minute drying happening whilst you're running. It, it, it didn't feel like it was happening to me. It feels more like after you stop um, exercising that it will dry more quickly, which I think makes it really interesting for something like a multi-stage race um, or an ultra actually, where you might be coming into an aid station and taking some time out in a hot sunny day and you you don't want to get your, or you might want to take your top off and have it dry quickly or you might just want to be able to take off a layer and, and have this go back to, to being fully dry quickly rather than being cold and, and cooling you against the skin. But when you get the top off and it gets a bit of air, it does start to dry. The other thing, I don't know if you can see on my back here, is there is a a little panel, a mesh panel, to aid the circulation around that sort of key bit in the middle of the back where you can you can get a lot of heat and a lot of sweat. So there's this tiny little holes in there to help the air circulate. Um, a bit down lower, which I I can't quite show you, but it's it's sort of like a low hanging seam on the bottom. So it it goes a little bit lower down. And again, just that's to do with the, the fit and the comfort. The t-shirt I'm wearing here actually is an extra large. I would normally wear a medium, um, but the only one I got to test was an extra large. Hence, there's a little bit of bagginess here, which doesn't quite feel as, as fitting and the arms are a little bit longer than they would be. But I have to say, you know, even that where there are seams in this, they're comfortable and there's no friction against the skin, no chafing, no rub. And I think this is a, it's a super comfortable tee. And that, you know, if this, You'd be happy wearing this on a summer's day, I think. Right, and that's your six minutes up, and this t-shirt across the chest, it's 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 still a little bit damp actually, and on the back, it's still wet. It's actually still wet. There's there's still I don't know if you can see it. There's still moisture coming off the back. Um, see on my fingers there that's there's still quite a lot of moisture so around around the shoulders you can still see that the, you know the you can see it's wet because there's a lot of um, transparency there from the moisture that's still in the shirt the funny thing is actually i this is my second test of this t-shirt and i tested it 
out in Baltimore. And okay, maybe it didn't get quite as wet on that run. It was a shorter run for about half an hour and it probably wasn't quite as high intensity and I didn't sweat quite as much, but it did work. It was dry. I was in a hotel room. There was a bit of air conditioning, so a little bit of air circulation as well inside. And in six minutes, it was near to near as damn it dry. So I'm quite surprised that this, this time it hasn't quite worked. And maybe that's just about the duration and the amount of sweat that it's soaked up. But it's, I can feel it, I can almost feel it drying as I sort of stand here. And I don't think it's gonna be much longer. I reckon inside 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, you've got a t-shirt that I think will go from saturated to dry after a good hour's sweat and good high intensity, lots of sweat. So that's, I think that's quite a, that's a decent performance for me. And again, I reckon that is something that I would find far more useful in an ultra where I'm gonna be out all day and I'm coming into aid stations and I'm stopping. And those moments where you stop, even on really hot days, it can be really, it can be really hard. You get the, 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 having the moisture against your skin can make you cold and cool your core in a way that's not pleasant. It makes it very hard to get going again. So having something that in those moments will dry and let you go out again, feeling like you're wearing new dry kit is actually could be a big bonus. So I'm really interested to see how this, how this would perform on an ultra. Um, I think it's exciting technology and I think on the whole, the times that I've tested it, I, I think it's a thumbs up from me. So, uh, well played under armour.